When solving cortex, you're solving with powers of four, so you're trying to get four answers. And the approach to go about that is to factor this down. Since it's a trinomial, I would use the guess and check method, which I call the magic X. So if you need more formal definitions or explanations on how I'm using this technique right now, I have other videos. I suggest you watch them. They'll help you get a better insight of where I'm getting my numbers, how I'm setting up this X, and what I need to do to create the missing terms within it. 4x squared minus 7x minus x squared plus 7 equals 0. This is what your problem looks like after you rewrote it using uh, the guess and check method. Then you are going to factor by grouping, which I call the bam bam method. Again, I have videos on how, what I'm doing to explain this process so that you're able to see more detailedly how I'm going one step through this problem. But all I'm doing is factoring. So after you factor the problem, you broke down this trinomial into these two polynomials being multiplied together. Since they have powers of two, they're quadratics, and you're able to solve these either using the quadratic formula. I'm going to use a different technique, actually. I'm going to make this equal one, and I'm going to make this equal one. This is called the zero product rule. It's a perfectly legal rule, and all you have to do is solve for each one of these individually. Now, I'm drawing these lines to help explain my steps so that you can see very clearly what's next. First of all, Let's add one to both sides of the equation. On this side, since we can do this simultaneously, we can add 7. This will now give us x squared equals 1 and x squared equals 7. Next, we want to get rid of this power of 2. So in order to get rid of a power of 2 in a problem like this, very simply, take the square root. This gives you x. But since you're getting two answers from this, one of those answers is going to be negative and one of those is going to be positive, and the square root of 1 is 1. Over on this side, same thing. x is by itself two answers, one negative, one positive, but the square root of radical 7 is some decimal. So you may leave it like this, or if your teachers require you, grab a calculator and find out what radical 7 is. One, two, three, four answers, and that's how you solve this cortex.